Hello, beautiful Taurus. Welcome to your monthly love reading. We're going to get straight into it. This is going to be uh, your overview for May 2022. Uh, we're also coming into the eclipse uh, season. We got the uh, April 30th eclipse in uh, your sign, Taurus. So that should be interesting. Let me know in the comments below if you're feeling any kind of way about this. Ooh, very interesting. You got answering the call here in your oracle. I'm going to get to that in a second. I'm just going to pull uh, one more overall energy for you this month. Uh, sorry for May. I'm recording this in April. I'm going to pull one more for May. Ooh, the crane. Okay, so this is your animal spirit for May. It is the crane. And it says here on this oracle deck, it says surrender. So there's uh, a lot of interesting energy coming in. In your love life, Bibu. Very interesting. Uh, so it says, let go of limiting beliefs. Be as expansive in your thoughts as your soul is. Uh, Taurus, whatever you want, it shall be yours. Whatever you've been manifesting, whatever you're, you've been dreaming of, there might be a kind of a specific type of love that you're looking for. You know, like your ideal partner, your ideal love, your ideal situation. Maybe your mind is telling you that it's not possible to manifest this kind of love. You can. If there's someone on your mind, there's someone you want to pursue, and you know, you don't know if this person reciprocates, you know how it is, go for it. Like this entire month is go for it. Answering the call, the time is now, Bibu. And not just in love, <laughs> excuse me, if there's any venture you want to be a part of, if there's anything you want to create, if there's anything that you've been thinking about, dreaming of, and you're just kind of, you know, a little bit into minds about it, go forth and do it, Taurus. This is your lucky month. This is your lucky month. This is also your month, boo boo. Uh, happy birthday, Taurus. If it's, you know, uh, I mean, maybe I missed your birthday already, but if I missed it, happy birthday, boo boo. Um, so yeah, happy birthday, my Taurus says. This is your month, this is your season. This is your time to shine. And most importantly with the tarot, well, what the oracles are saying is, this is your time to go for it. Go for what you want. The crowning, ooh, so the, the crowning energy for you in May is the Ten of Wands when it comes to love. So there's a burden that you need to let go of, boo boo. And it doesn't mean you need to let go of a lot, a, a love for someone necessarily, but it, you need to let go of the burdensome thoughts that you have regarding love, your doubts maybe again. So this, you know, this idea of answering the call here and doing what you feel called to do uh, is relevant for you. Uh, manifest the love you want. Don't feel burdened by whatever limitations you think you have because there are no limitations. This person is carrying all this stuff on their uh, on their back and they're not asking for help. So ask for help. And look at, uh, this is at the bottom of the deck, the magician, so manifestation. Um, I feel like you're, you're just a little bit bogged down at the moment. You're, uh, you're not believing in yourself. You're not believing that you can achieve the kind of love that you want. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you think, maybe there's someone, I'm kind of picking up the energy for some of you of maybe there's someone on your mind. It could be a new person you just met, bimbo himbo from Tinder. Could be someone maybe you're in separation from. You're just like, you You got something on your mind, boo boo. There is something that's weighing you down and you kind of don't believe that uh, you can make it happen with this person. But let's see, please show me angels what's happening uh, for Taurus in May. We're just gonna get into the tarot now. Yeah, there's just something up, boo boo. Hmm. Ooh, okay. Oh, baby. So there's heartbreak. Uh, in, in, in the recent past, you've been carrying, you have been carrying a lot of silent heartbreak. You've been dealing um, with it by yourself, all by yourself, boo boo. All by yourself. But this is all about to change. You got great cards here. But look, you got the uh, you got five of wands, which is p quite possibly conflict, people not being on the same page regarding love, and the three of swords, and next to it, the two of pentacles. So I feel like um, someone broke your heart, Taurus, because they didn't invest in the connection. Uh, this is your past, could be recent or not so recent past. Whatever energy is bringing you into this current uh, query, into this current uh, love reading, boo boo. Someone didn't want to invest someone uh, left you brokenhearted. 
there could have been a lot of arguments in the past connection, could have been a bit of a cats and dogs situation. Um, perhaps you felt like, also it could have been a testing situation in this deck, the five of wands is test. So maybe someone was actually like you were testing them or maybe you put someone to the test and they didn't come through for you. So by test, I just mean like, you know, maybe you like ask them, oh, you know, can't, I'm not feeling so good. I got the flu or something like this is a stupid example, but it's like, whatever. I have the flu, so I'm just using that. Um, I got the flu. Can you just, you know, help me out with groceries or something like can you come to my house and just like, you know, get me some stuff? And that person just didn't have time for you. Maybe it was a situation like this, but um, overall it was a, a, a connection that was testing. Like it was a very testing situation. Let me see what happened with the two of pentacles here. And, but it was two people, yeah, more arguments. There's a lot of arguments. Could have been jealousy. There were issues of jealousy, things left unspoken. Um, every time uh your person yeah you're dealing with some kind of a fiery person too taurus boo boo maybe a fire sign doesn't have to be but there's a lot of fire in that person there's a lot of arguing a lot of back and forth i feel like whenever you told this person something could have been something really innocent like you know feedback or like you know regarding the connection how you wanted it to be that person would not listen to criticism and they would come at you they were very critical of you but they couldn't take it you know they could uh, they, they they couldn't take what they were given you. And with that two of pentacles is someone who just was always like, you know, whatever it was with this person, they were just like always like one foot out the door. Um, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, I don't see, I don't see third parties here, even though we do have the three of swords. It doesn't have to be like, you know, a third sword it does not have to be, be a third person. It can't just be that final nail in the coffin. I don't really see another person here. I feel like your person was either focused on their money or they had some hangups regarding this relationship you two had. And it was just a, a situation that kept escalating. I see a lot of arguing here. And uh, your person quite possibly having a... <laughs> mean disposition Taurus, if that makes sense to you boo boo so like you're just dating a bit of a mean person um your time so whatever was happening here this is i feel like this is over i'm reading for people who with like this is over maybe you're some of you might still be talking to this person but it's sporadic or it's definitely not like i don't think anyone here feels like they're in a relationship. Um, you've got the hermit card here in your present moment. So this is, you're coming into May, um, still feeling like you're single. You're coming into May, reflecting on your situation and love overall, and quite possibly also missing that person from the past that you had a, a lot of arguments with, boo boo. Is this who you're manifesting, Taurus? Or are you manifesting a new love? Maybe you're in two minds about it yourself. We'll see. But you're coming out of this energy now. So when the hermit appears in the present moment, it uh, very often can portend at the end of a time of being single or the end of solitude. So I feel like you're coming out of this single vibe and you're ready to mingle now. You got, look, look, you got the Ten of Pentacles and the world. So, I mean, this is incredible energy. Uh, very Taurus style energy here with the Ten of Pentacles, very stable. Um, very stable, very uh, rich in experience, rich in love kind of uh, energy. I feel like some kind of marriage material person is coming your way or, or maybe they're in your life already. I feel like it is, um, it is going to be a very supportive kind of vibe. This is just on your doorstep now, coming in in May. The May vibe is definitely going to be you um, consolidating your dreams of love with a new person here. <laughs> um, possible return here. Uh, this person you were arguing with in the past, there is a possible return. Uh, someone might return to you from the world. Let me clarify this card. <laughs> it's always the way, isn't it? The minute you start dating, the minute you make yourself available to other people. Boo boo. Who is this argumentative so and so? Who is this, please? Ah, six of wands. Well, I mean, 
let the best person win, right? Six of Wands. I do feel like uh, in May, what will happen is you will meet a new person because you're, but you got to go and mingle with Bill. Uh, himbo, bimbo from Tinder, anyone in between, or it could just be someone you meet organically. There's a new person, new energy in your life who is very stable, can possibly offer you potentially uh, a new life. And like, this is the white picket fence, bimbo. This is very good energy. And uh, it's almost like, you know, they just know it, you know? So uh, that person from the past is going to come come back in from the world and they're gonna be like, okay, well, which one do you want? Like, who do you choose? And it's almost gonna be like, let the best man, woman, anyone in between win here with the Six of Wands. You got the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck and the High Priestess. So it's going to be difficult making a decision because I feel like whatever happened here in the past with this person uh, that we're seeing here that you were arguing with, it was a deep connection. And that's why it's still on your mind, boo-boo. And that's why it's still coming up in the reading eight of swords yeah eight of swords someone feels restricted or imprisoned quite possibly by their thoughts uh someone feels oh, god knows just someone feels like there's a barrier between the two of you could be that person from the past maybe you were hoping for them to reach out but they haven't because they feel like there's a some kind of a barrier uh they don't have a lot of hope that you're going to uh hear them out they have a lot of hope you're going to hear them out. I feel like a lot of games were played. I feel like it's not like that person didn't want to invest in you, but they were testing you and you were testing them. And it was just like, I don't know. It's just weird energy. Let's see. Please show me angels. What else is going to happen in May? Yeah, boo boo. Well, you're coming up in your own reading, Taurus. Of course you are. Okay. Well, you're definitely uh, passing on to pastures new. Let me clarify the eight of swords. You know, if you block this person, maybe this person from your past thinks you blocked them. Uh, but that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting here. Yeah, king of cups. Yeah, this is someone who's missing you. Uh, I don't know if it's you who likes a little bit of a drink or your person, but I feel like someone's like, you know, drink any kind of other substance whatever you know but i feel like your person is like you know drinking wine at home and thinking of you kind of thing or also you know if they're a party person if they like to go out and party they go out and party and they they're thinking of you basically you know like uh, they try and forget but they can't you might get like you know maybe maybe at some point in the near future this person is going to have a few glasses of wine and they're just gonna like call you or something because they can't it's just really preoccupying them here with this king and the eight of swords. This is a person who is a prisoner of their thoughts and of their emotions for you. So you're coming up here. Uh, this is your culminating energy for May. It's, it's the Hierophant. Uh, excellent energy. This is Taurus energy. Angel of blessings in this deck. You know, this is the kind of energy that tells me you will settle down. Like May is a great time to find a boyfriend, girlfriend, anyone in between doesn't have to be a person from, from the past. It can be a new person. In fact, I'm going to clarify who this new person is going to be right now. Maybe in the past, Taurus, you were dealing, did I already say fire? Yeah, it could have been a fire sign or a fiery person or a, a someone with a lot of water in their chart or a water sign, very kind of in their fields. Fire and passion is what this person was, boo boo. Oh dear. Yeah, see, eight of cups, someone coming back from the past. Yeah, someone's coming back around. But tell me, so why, tell me, angels, why did this come up? Okay, so I feel like your person, you know, I get this, like, feeling of your person is kind of fighting for it. They're, they're, fi they're desperately fighting, like, in their unconscious, almost, you know? Like, they're kind of fighting. They're already fighting against this new person who's going to come in because they're, they're coming up all over this reading, uh, and they shouldn't be because this new person should be coming up more. Yeah, Seven of Wands. So, you know, fighting, competition, uh, standing up for what you want and going out and getting it. Uh, someone is going to be, someone's coming into your life. They're going to be a go-getter. They're going to be very stable. And they're going to be also someone who's been through things just like you, Taurus. So they've been through, through a breakup. Uh, don't, you know, so don't worry about it if, like, it's a red flag to you. Could be someone who had a recent breakup in the last eight months. 
uh, eight, uh, eight weeks even. I wouldn't worry about too, that too much. That was just part of their journey. And it's very similar to your journey with this person in the past that you were arguing with. But these two people will show up uh, in your life in May and you're going to have to make a decision, a wise decision about your future here, Torres, because I feel like uh, you have the potential to settle down with the correct person for you. And it could be, you know, engagement, marriage, God knows what. Uh, eight of Wands, uh, messages of love, for real, for real. Um, people are going to be coming at you. And Three of Wands, you know, this is making that move. This is venturing forward. This is making a decision which direction you want to go in as well. Uh, so it's going to be up to you, but I definitely see two people. I feel like this ex of yours, or if it was in like an official relationship, whoever this person is, you know who, you know who it is, baby, you know. Um, they're thinking about you so intensively, they're disrupting the energy of the reading. Do you see what I'm saying? Like they're disrupting the incoming person. They're making it hard for me to see clearly who this person is going to be. Because uh, maybe they're manifesting you, maybe you're manifesting them, I don't know. It seems to me like it's not really, it's not really over. Even though it was very painful, it almost seems like the pain doesn't matter and it's like for both parties. It's almost like the pain doesn't matter because there's a kind of soulmate or deeper connection feel to the situation between you and this past person. But the new person is looking amazing. So it's up to you, boo-boo. It's all about free will. Don't forget to like and subscribe. When you like my videos, it really helps me out, Taurus, uh, in the algorithm. So uh, I really appreciate it if you got any value from my video. And of course, subscribe just so we can see each other again because I appreciate you. I love you, Taurus. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, have a great eclipse season. Take care of yourself, Tauruses. Let me know what your story is and if this resonated for you in the description box below. I'll see you next time, baby. Take care of yourself and may the angels protect you.